Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. My name's Doug, and today's video is going to be how to sing post hardcore high notes like vocalists such as Shaylee from Ex of Mice and Men and now Dayshell, Aaron Pauly from Of Mice and Men, Vic Fuentes, Craig Owens, and any other high pitched vocalists in the post hardcore, even pop punk scene. So, for today's video, I've broken down seeing these post hardcore high notes into three basic steps. The first step is actually going to be power, breath, and support. If you're actually a viewer of my previous videos, you'll know that I always emphasize the importance of breathing in the abdominal region and just getting power in your overall voice. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. So if you've been watching my previous videos, you will have seen this exercise. The first stage is taking a deep abdominal breath, which expands your stomach like this. And then you tense that breath like someone is going to punch you in the stomach like this. Yep, so again. I want you to take a deep abdominal breath like this and tense it so that someone's going to punch you in the stomach. And remember the major point was that it was a deep abdominal breath, meaning when I take the breath, my chest isn't raising like this. It's all in the stomach. Okay, so part of stage one was the breath and support, but now we've got to talk about power. And the power that I want you to sing with is literally almost as loud as when you shout. Not shouting within singing, but the overall loudness that you need to be able to sing these high notes needs to be quite loud. Now, I receive a lot of voice clips through Snapchat, which you can also send me down below in the description, but I have one common problem, and that's that no one is engaging enough. So when I sing the phrase, I believe, which would be, I believe it's time for me, that's literally as loud as me going, hey, like shouting. And that's loud and so you need to be in a comfortable environment to be able to perform this so let's move on to the second stage so the second stage of singing post hardcore high notes is actually being able to reach the high note so we're going to achieve this by using a lip bubble then a one octave slide and finally the melody I would just like to clarify that the opening track that you heard me sing second and Sebring I actually transposed it down two half steps or two semitones and so that the high note was at a4 and the reason I did this is because my voice is much more free at that note than the original singer, Shaylee. And that's just um, dependent on how much training I've done to my voice. If I report back in a year, I'm sure I would be able to sing the high note that Shaylee was doing completely free. It's just not where I'm at in my current stage of development. But that's just something I'd like to emphasize because <laughs> I'm also on my own vocal journey. So the first step is seeing a lip bubble on the high note that you want to sing in the song you want to sing, but for this we're going to use 2nd and Sebring. So I was saying the high note I sang was A4, that's the first step. You need to make sure you can get that lip bubble there first or else you won't be able to sing the melody or an octave slide. Now I'm going to do the same chord with an octave slide. La Now that you've got the lip bubble and the octave slide on the high note, that's when you'll be able to roll in the melody like, I believe it's time for me to be famous. Just to clarify on this second stage, when you're trying to do the lip bubble and the octave slide up, remember, if you're breaking, you need to take it a couple notes down or even a couple more notes down until you get to that sweet spot. And that's where I'd like you to start practicing it. Even if it's a, at a lower key, I just want you to start practicing it there because over time your range will build and we'll be able to increase and increase and increase and we'll be able to sing it as high as Shaylee. All right, next step. Now, finally, for stage three, we're going to talk about building vocal freedom. Now, building vocal freedom means there's no tension in the singing voice in the throat. The tension will be in the stomach because you're tensing. But this is the sound and the feeling that all of your favorite post-hardcore singers that are belting these high notes must feel or else it would not work. So for example, when Shaylee is singing the high note like, I believe, his voice isn't being manipulated and it's not hard for him to go, I believe. See how all the tension's in the throat? He honestly has a very free, you know, vocally free voice and he's just able to stretch his voice up there. Now, how do we achieve this? It's actually achieved by getting the lower notes incredibly free. 
So you know at the end of the introduction of Second and Sebring when I sing the note F sharp, which is here? Throw! Well, F sharp is quite a bit lower than A, but the thing is, I have enough headroom and vocal freedom to be able to stretch up the high notes, so... Throw! Throw! See how I'm just going... Oh. What you need to focus on is getting those lower notes incredibly free, incredibly open, no tension in the throat, so you just sing and the no tension will allow you to stretch up to the high notes. So that's why it's such an important area of building the high note range. So if I sing the phrase at the end of the introduction when I break through with a lot of tension in my throat, you'll see I won't be able to get higher. So this would be with a lot of tension. It just cuts off, and that's kind of painful, you know? So what you need to do is throw. So you can go because having the notes free allows you to stretch up just like your favorite vocalists. All right, guys, so that was the three stages of singing post-hardcore high notes, specifically for the song Second and Sebring by Mice and Men, just because so many people have, you know, suggested they want a vocal video for Shaylee in particular. Um, I've seen of Mice and Men with Shaylee, oh sorry, I've seen of Mice and Men three times now, and it's been with Aaron Pauly, but I've seen Dayshell by themselves, which is Shaylee's new band, or old band. But anyway, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good week.